Salmon Squad, I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to Smudgers 5 Wanton Brother. This is the long-awaited demo of what is essentially Five Nights at Smudgers 5 that was teased at the very end of Five Nights at Smudgers 4. I don't know how long this demo is, but hopefully it'll give us a good idea of the story and the gameplay that we can expect from the full version. If you are excited for some more trains or engines or whatever all of these things are called, because I don't really know trains, please be sure to like the video and subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, and leave a comment down below. Greetings! You have officially started this line of work, and I have faith that you will do well. Here is just a few things I have to tell you. You will most likely see things that are not for the faint-hearted. Good thing for you is that you are not one of those people. Things are going to get very scary and tough, but just remember this is for peace of the world and safety of the people. Keep your wits about you and deliver what's needed. If you are successful in this, there will be a lot of rewards to go around. Welcome! Detective Max Reynolds. Or does that say, Welcome Detective Max Reynolds? I don't know if I'm Max Reynolds or not. Select your level! Well, a gigantic disaster is the only thing available, so... A gigantic disaster. Type survival. A detective has evidence of murders committed by Smoother, the masked engine, and is taking it to the island of Sodor via the SS Rockstar. Little does he know he has been followed. The SS Rockstar is currently traveling from UK to Sodor with the detective on board. Oh god, was this the ending secret scene to Smothers... Smothers... Smudgers 4? I know my trains! Well, nearly home. I'm lucky to get this evidence and still be alive. Just gotta hand it over to the IOS and then hopefully they can catch uh, this sicko. Isn't he still on board? <sighs> Well, I better go get some rest. Gotta have my brain fully working to talk to these people tomorrow. I feel like he's gonna die. That's Baldi's whistle. <gasps> Not only am I lucky to still be breathing, but also the fact he didn't see me boarding the ship. Oh, I can't even begin to think how many innocent people he would target if he followed me on. Uh-huh. Right. About that. Hey, Captain. How's it going? Oh my no. gosh, what the heck happened? <laughs> oh no, this is bad. It's the Titanic Everyone all over all again. Engines. Immediately. Lane is ahead. I'm going to try to port around it. Oh, did you make it? No, you did not. This is exactly the Titanic! What the what, what's going on? Emergency! The ship has struck land. It is in critical damage. Keep calm, follow the exit, and climb aboard a lifeboat immediately! Are you serious? Like, how could they manage that with all the technology they have? No, 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 of course! He's on the ship! He's definitely the reason for this. I've got to get out of here. Fast. Smart idea. You need to find a way into the locked assistance room to call for help to get the exit unjammed and to escape, but the ship is filling up with water fast and Smoother is looking for you. So if I see Smoother, duck into a nearby room, but do it fast because you don't want to drown. Fair enough. Oh, I see. Okay. This reminds me a lot of, like, the Fun Time Foxy game. Right? And I see that there's doors on the side. Should probably try to stay near those doors, right? If I see... Smoother. Oh, I didn't mean to look behind me. Am I okay? I feel like I'm not okay. <coughs> ah! Oh! Hey! 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 Relax! <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I died there, but... I should probably figure that out soon. Apparently I can click on the interact button over on the left to find an item. I don't know what item that is, but maybe it's important. Okay, so interact. The phone is in here, but the door is locked. You must find the keys. Okay. Are the keys further on? Oh, I can go back and forth. I see. I thought I only had to go straight and that was it, but maybe 
I need to slow down because my character is a little on the red side. Now he's turning more white, which I think is more about me being safe. I'm gonna hide for a sec. Hello! Smoother. Oh my god, how did you find me? I thought that would work. I, that's me hiding, right? Okay, so maybe I only need to hide if I see Smoother in front of me. Otherwise, I just kind of slowly walk to make my red icon turn into a gray icon. I think. I, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. I am a terrible gamer right now. Really, it's more about understanding the rules of the game here. Stop walking, stop walking. I want to reduce to white, but I'm also near a door just in case Smoother is near me. Part of me almost just wants to wait here until Smoother comes toward me, right? I don't, I don't see Smoother in the darkness, which I guess is a good thing, right? Smoother! You there, buddy? That doesn't seem right. Wait, do I do I exit back out? Oh god, am I in trouble? Did I do this too early? Am I dead? <gasps> you don't see nothing. Hey, you, you you don't you don't see nothing, buddy. Okay, I think this is how we do it. Interact. Keys are in here, but it's locked. Find something to break it open. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Oh my god, why were you behind me, sir? Why was that a thing? I don't like trains. I don't like trains and this isn't helping. I might not need to care about the interact button all that much. Um, I don't know if it's needed. Well, you know what? I take it back. No, because I'm trying to unlock the assistance room, right? So I need to find the key and then backtrack and then unlock all of these areas. Okay, the gameplay is getting more and more interesting. Except until, uh, until I die. Until I die and don't know what's going on. I feel like this is made for a left-hander because it doesn't use WASD. It uses the arrow keys, which now I have to move my hands awkwardly. Uh, click to play, come on. I got this. I can, I can do this left-handed, right? I can do this. I feel like I have no control over my left hand like my mouse. <laughs> it feels weird, man. I can't do this left-handed. All right, I'm gonna go back to being like an awkward right-hander. Or better yet, I can move my keyboard over here near my left hand so it'll actually make it a little easier. That's me using my big brain. Am I in trouble yet? I'm gonna sit here. Oh my God! I thought maybe that I had to wait a little bit more and then Smudger would appear and then I would hide. I, I don't, I don't understand what I need to do. Nope, there's steam. I should be safe. I should be okay. Cause I hid when I saw steam. <gasps> that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I'm following the directions. I'm hiding when I see steam. Oh, so when my icon turns red and then I hide, I'm still in danger. I, I feel like I'm overcomplicating this. I need to slow down. My icon was white. My icon was white. I'm okay. You're gonna peek your head out, but I'm- Yeah, see? But I'm totally okay. See? I understand how to play the game correctly now. I see what I gotta do. It's just all about interacting with the correct objects and finding the key or whatever. But I got this. What is this? case of emergency break glass I got an axe to use to break the key locker oh so I can back up okay so let me back up well maybe I should wait until the steam happens and then I have a better chance of survival okay that's creek number one that means water is coming in so I'm I'm about a third of the way through all of this so I I might need to pick up the pace here a little bit Boom, I got the keys. Use the keys to get to the assistance room. Okay. Oh, the, the phone wire has been cut. Find a spare one to fix it. Okay, that probably means that I needed to go all the way down to the end and then work my way all the way back, which quite frankly, I don't have the time for. Oh, and I am totally dead because my icon is on red, right? Death? 
death. Okay. Here we are. Oh, wire to fix the phone. Okay, cool. Let's just turn around. Oh my God, come on. Oh, it took me a long time to get all the way down to the end. Of course, I, I'm going to get killed because I'm not paying attention to the red. This, this is taking so long and this is level one. This, this is infuriating. Come on, come on, come on, come on, pick up, pick up. Hello, who are you speaking? Yes, hello, I'm a passenger of the ship. I'm at the main hallway on the uh, E deck. The exit is jammed and I'm in need of immediate assistance. Okay, hold on, I'm sending assistance down to save you right now. Oh, thanks very much. Get out, are you kidding me? Are you joking? Are you serious? I have to make it all the way back. Wow. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. I'm gonna die. Oh my God. <laughs> one, one attempt takes so long. God. I made it, but Smoother is now in Sodor. Oh no! This shouldn't be comical to me, but it, oh my god. Okay. This is going on a little long, don't you think? Oh my god. That was the most ridiculous cutscene I've ever seen. Now let's try Midnight Mail Rush. Type strategy. Smudger and Tim have picked up the post for the mail train, but then they realize something. Well, we got all of it. Yes, we did. Although that breakdown on the level crossing back there took some serious time to get through. You know, it's called at the other green engine I hear about that pulls the mail train is okay with us taking it as well. True, but we definitely do it better. We surely do. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, how long have we got to deliver this? Hmm, let me see. Oh man, we've only got half an hour. Oh no, we need to get to the other side of the island to drop this off. Well then, what are we waiting for? Smudger and Tim are making good time delivering the mail train, but they need to get there on time, otherwise... You have caused confusion and delay. There is a GPS on the right of the screen telling you what is ahead, how fast you're going, the time limit, the goal distance, and how much coal you have left. You have 100% supply of coal. Loading Smudger will use 2% of it. How much coal does Smudger have left? All of this reads like a math textbook. Okay, I want to speed. Okay, just speed up a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I have 267 seconds to get wherever I need to go. Nothing is ahead. I probably want to pick up the pace a little bit. But I also need to make sure that it's under 50 miles an hour if there's a crossing. So I want to slow down a little bit. There you go. I'm all right, I, I, I think. There you go. All right, guys, I hope I make it in time. I have one minute left and I feel like we still have over halfway to go. 36% coal left. This, this is my life. This is, this is what's happening. Oh God, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, you're not gonna crash. Just, just don't crash. Four, three, two, one. I didn't make it. I have caused confusion and delay. 
Come on, let's do this. Maybe I have to go like 100 miles an hour, like all the time. I got this, baby, let's go! Come on now, we're almost there. Almost there, I got plenty of time left. I can actually take my time a little bit. I'm almost out of coal, which is awesome. I should make it, I should make it. I'm gonna hold on to that 2% of coal. 9, 8, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 10s, and 0. I made it. I, I have avoided confusion and delay. There you go. I beat the demo. Until the next demo, click anywhere to see a new upcoming character. Oh. You look like a James Bond villain. All right. So that was the demo to Smudger's 5 Wanton Brother. And oh my God, it was difficult. That first level took me probably about an hour and 20 minutes to complete because of how difficult it was. That's not really something you want as like a first level. That and like getting all the way through it, like getting through it just took so long. It was also difficult to figure out, I don't know. The second one was also just kind of long. It was, it was long. It, the game feels like it has a narrative, it has a story, which I'm cool with, right? Um, I, I'm cool with the game having the story and direction that it has. I like the idea, I love the idea of smoother, right? I, I have nothing against that, but I feel like you have the story and, and we're just kind of shoving gameplay into it. I feel like I have more to say about the game, but I'm gonna hold off because this is only a demo. Like, it, it's too early to like make a call about this game. I may not like the first two levels, but I might end up liking the rest of the game. Like, I, I might end up liking uh, uh, some certain levels that bring me back into the game. Maybe the story takes a twist and I'll really enjoy the story over the gameplay, which has happened sometimes. Like, I've played games that the story is really good, but the gameplay is not so good, which, which was totally fine with me because I was just following the story. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video if you want to watch more videos just like this one. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you've not done so already. I love you all so much. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy. Stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.